Welcome everybody to another episode of Geek Dad Reviews. I'm Brian West. And I'm Ryan Thomas. And tonight we're going to be reviewing what could possibly be, which honestly in our opinion it is, the best superhero <laughs> show on television, DC Universe's Titans. Yes, and as Brian said, DC Universe is meaning you can only watch it if you're a subscriber to the DC Universe app. Or if you live outside of the United States, it is going to be airing on Netflix. I do not think it has aired yet, but it's going to be coming soon. But if you live in the good old U.S. of A., the only way you can watch this is by subscribing to the DC Universe app, which uh, me and Ryan both currently are. And we got a chance to watch the first episode, and I'm not even going to bury the lead on this. Holy crap. It was freaking amazing. So from the very start, yes, like the first five minutes in, I was hooked. Like oh, line yeah. Like, if there's, I mean, there's like some shows that can, you know, they'll, they'll catch you, you know, in the first, you know, to get you kind of in, but man, I bit down on that hook hard. Oh yeah. It, I'm, I'm, you can reel me in DC. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. So yeah. spo- spoiler alert, we are going to talk about episode one. We've only seen the yeah. first episode. Uh, we are not cool enough to have seen the entire season yet, and DC is only releasing one episode a week, which actually I think for their new app is probably a good idea. Um, you keep bringing people back to your yeah. app to check. You don't it want out. people just to sign up and then forget. So yeah. So um, but so we've only seen the first episode, but we are going to talk a lot about it. So this is going to be a spoiler heavy episode. Um, so if you have not seen it yet, be, we're we're not gonna we're not gonna yeah. we're, we're gonna tell you right now. Watch the show. It is worth subscribing, yeah. honestly, just for the show. It is really that good. Um, but if you have watched it or you don't care about things being spoiled, we just want to warn everybody, for the next eight minutes or so, we're going to be diving into this episode and talking about all the greatness uh, that was the DC Titans. <clears throat> so you have been warned. So, yes, to Ryan's point, this thing opens up with Raven having a dream about Robin's family <laughs> dying. And it is the yeah. most, like, Gut punching. We all know Robin's history is the yeah. Flying Graysons family dies. And they're, you know, they're doing like the Flying Graysons and they're doing like all the stuff. And But they do it in a way you that know. you don't even know these people or characters. But you, you're like, you feel sadness for Robin. Like they do it in slow motion and he's like, no. And his family's like yeah. falling to their death. And you're like, oh my God. Yeah, it's... It was, and then Raven waking up, and you know, you kind of get like her mom and her relationship. Well, and anybody uh, who's not familiar with Raven's powers, her father is the devil, basically in DC. So she's a half demon, and her powers are scary in this. They're yeah. not fun; they're scary. <laughs> yeah, like she straight up mess mess you up. Well, and and you know. Hardcore. So the, the show kind of centers around Raven at this point. I mean, we definitely get a lot of, of Robin. We get a little bit of Starfire and almost nothing of Beast Boy. And we'll talk about Beast Boy because we get so little of him. We'll talk about him a little bit later. Um, the, the characters I want to focus on in this tonight is uh, is, is Raven, Robin, yeah. and obviously and, Starfire. And that's really what this episode was focusing yes. on. Yes. I mean, the, the majority of this episode was Robin and Raven. And, and Raven is kind of the center episode, takes center stage in this, um, you know, I love the fact that she's plagued by these dreams. She doesn't understand her powers. Inherently, she's a good person, but there's this darkness about her. And the actress yeah. who who plays her does such a good job of, of, of giving us that, right? From the moment yeah. you see her, you feel for her character. Like, she's just a yeah, girl, and, but she has this power and this darkness that she doesn't know how to control. Well, and, and you know, like when she's trying to, uh, you know, find a safe place to stay... And the darkness is like, you know, they're lying, you know, but, but okay, they're, well, hey, they're, hey, like, they're rewind lying, get away, they're like lying, murder everybody. Yeah, <laughs> rewind a second. When I knew this show, so this show, first of all, is, is a hard R. This is an R-rated yeah. show. Do Swearing. not let your kids watch uh-huh. this. And what I loved about it, it's not done for shock value. It's just organic mm-hmm. to the characters, right? So, yeah. but I will say like the first, the first moment I noticed this was different than anything else was we get a lot of Raven's powers and they are really true to character and they're scary. But when that dude shows up and blows her mother's brains out in front yeah. of her, like he's like, all right, enough of this. He shoots Raven's mother and her forehead explodes. I was like, Holy shit. Like <laughs> yeah. I was, yeah. And, wow. 
I will say that um, I I watch with um, closed captions on, so it's easier for me to follow like the dialogue. And um, you you <clears throat> during the fight scene, you it says on a lot of it, it says bones crunching. <laughs> you know, just a yeah. lot of just bones we'll, crunching. We'll, we'll get into we'll get into, we'll get into Robin in a second because a lot was made about the fuck Batman line that showed in the trailer, yeah. and I think well, a lot of people like first five minutes. And I think a lot of people didn't like it. Some people did, but I thought it played really well. So we'll talk about that in a second. But I want to focus. I want to finish on Raven here. Yeah. You know, like you said so, to your point, when she's trying to, when she's trying to get away, and I loved how they did the split with her personality. Almost, it's almost like a Venom thing, right? Where her powers yeah. are manifesting as kind of an evil entity, and she sees it. Um, but I loved at the end too when. Her attacker... When is, it goes fall crazy. Out. Yeah, well, because she is a part demon, there's a very much religious element to this that plays mm-hmm. almost like the exorcist. And this guy who is... He's like, you think I'm the villain, but I'm really the good guy. I'm going to save the yeah. world. And he what tries to thing? kill her. He the, um, called himself the apostle, right? Yeah. Well, dude, when she shoots out her demon force and forces him to vomit out his entire, like, insides, I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm honestly, I'm going to rewatch the episode. He, well, uh, and, and to be serious, like you could say like, oh, they're just doing that for shock value. But no, I mean, she's a demon like her. She's got yeah. demon powers. This is the she's way it a should demon be. And they get to do whatever the hell they want. So they're like, let's just make her be like, what would a, you know, a horrible demon do? Yeah, I, I will <laughs> say, I, I will honestly say Raven was probably my breakout character. Like I've seen Robin. I've, you know, I haven't seen Starfire, but I've seen characters like Starfire. I've never seen anything like Raven, and yeah, every scene she was true. in felt like a horror movie. Yes, and I mean that's very true. I mean, you you don't get a lot of like people who are trying to be good, but their power is just so obscenely evil. Yeah, their power. Uh, yeah, this is a great way to put it. Their her power is obscenely evil and so powerful, and it wants yeah. to be dark. But you have such a character who wants to be a good person. I am. Yeah. I cannot wait to see. I could literally just watch a show just about her. Now, oh, yeah. on top of that, you're giving us Robin. So the first time we've gotten... This is the best Robin we've ever seen outside of the cartoon. Yes. Dick Grayson in this is amazing. So we meet up with Dick Grayson. He's a cop. He's left Batman because he doesn't want to be like Batman. But he also can't let injustice go. And so, yeah. so there's a couple guys who get away the, with beating the their mess. kids. Yeah, there's a couple guys who get away with beating their kids. And he has to... After a year, he has to don the mask and the cape, and he beats the ever-loving hell out of about, what, yeah. 15 people? Yeah, and like I said, bone crunching. Bone oh, crunching. yeah. So yeah. a lot of people were like, oh, this Robin murders. I never got the feeling that he murdered anybody. I mean, he fucks these people up bad. <laughs> like, yeah, he didn't bad. go full Red Hood, but, I mean, no, he no. messed everybody up. Yeah, he's this, this Robin is not a murderer. This Robin is, I'm going to yeah. beat you with an inch of your life. I mean, here's the best part. When he, the guy he's trying to get to, he punches through a window, grabs him, slams his face on the broken glass, and starts grating his face across it, saying, "If you yeah. ever hit your kids again, I will come back and find you." It's like, yeah. whoa! <laughs> it's just grinding him in. I mean, well, in oh. and, and, and the whole fuck Batman line, you know, in the beginning he shows up, jumps on. It's great. He jumps down. It's the superhero landing. Yeah. And he's just like, I'm looking for him. And everyone's looking. Everyone's like, where's Batman? Yeah. Where's Batman? Everybody's like looking up and like looking around. Like, oh, shit. Batman's got to be here from yeah. Gotham. Right? I love that nobody gave a shit that Robin was there. And then yeah. all they cared about was Batman. And then when they realize it's just Robin, they're like, oh, let's get this guy. And then he just yeah. kicks the shit out of all of them. Yeah. So that, that, was, that, was, that was a great setup for how. Yeah. The, the, the ultimate sidekick kind of coming into his own. Yeah, you know? so all the people who looked at fuck Batman as a like, oh, they're just trying to be like, we don't need Batman. No, it was perfect for that because nobody gave yeah. a shit about him and he's just like, fuck you, I'm a badass too. Yeah, he's like, fuck Batman. <laughs> and I loved how I loved how the R had all his like his like batarangs, but the Robin rings. And he yeah. shoved him into the R. I loved his costume. I loved the way it worked. I loved the. I loved his fighting style. I loved his staff. The way he used his staff. Yeah. Um, I loved the way he used smoke bombs to try and like take away the element of guns and stuff. I I really like the way they did Robin in this. I think it's the best way yeah. I've ever seen Robin. 
Well, and it's it's nice to see him as a detective, and you you kind of have. I think his partner is obviously going to play a lot more into it. Yeah, uh, you know, I kept looking at her name, trying to figure out if she was somebody else, and she may be. I just maybe my lore's not as good, but yeah, she's definitely yeah. going to be a big part. But to your point, yeah, I love that the natural progression of the Robin character is if he did leave Batman, he still would want to do good and still be a detective, right? I, I thought that was really cool. Well, he he just said that you know he. He he realized he was becoming too much like his old partner, yeah, so he yeah. had to, you know. Step and I like away. how they're like, "Oh, you've got partner issues," and he's like, <laughs> "Yeah, you have no idea." I also like how they didn't shy away from Batman in this. Like, you know, you don't necessarily see Batman in, in Cape and Cow, but his presence is very much felt in the Robin storyline. Yeah. Now, do you think that just because they're mentioning him and everything that? people are going to be expecting like a cameo from well batman? i i, I think like, there's, no, I, maybe, there's no doubt in my mind i think bruce, batman will show up in this series yeah or maybe just bruce wayne or something i, I think bruce wayne I, there's been there's been uh, set shots of a uh, batman suit for mm-hmm. this so my guess is batman's going to show up is he going to be a huge character i don't know but i feel like this show is tailor-made for a batman to show up oh my god the show is tailor-made to just god why cannot we? Why can we not like get this show, food. but in the DC universe? Because yeah. this is literally everything I want from DC. It's perfect yeah. DC. Why is it DC can do the animated right? They can do the TV shows so right. far. At least the first episode of Titans right, but they can't do their goddamn movies right. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, that's a All whole other right. episode. But, uh, but, but yeah, I mean. Uh, um, so, talking then, about Starfire. Yeah, so lastly, the last two characters, Starfire, received a lot of hate because her look was very different. Uh, first of all, she wasn't orange. She was played by a, a black actress. Um, she had curly hair that lit on fire. I mean, come on, guys. Just be realistic. I mean... Here's my thing. You weren't going to get an orange person to play Starfire. I actually think... I, I wasn't a giant fan of her look. I, I could care less who they who they cast <clears throat> to, to play the character. Her look looked very different. But, um, but like anything, taken out of context, you're not going to understand it, right? So mm-hmm. I wanted to watch the show, and I actually really enjoyed her character. Her, her character story arc is, is different from the comic book so far, but um, only because the, the, the character in the comic book is a princess from a warrior planet who comes to Earth, right? So we've yeah. got none of that. Right now, all we know about Starfire is she looks kind of like she was undercover as a prostitute in some, like, Russian... German and she's got mob. amnesia and she's got amnesia. So I don't think we know enough about this character to be like, Oh, that's not Starfire. But what we did see, I thought the actress did a great job as Starfire. I really liked her character and I loved her powers. I loved how her eyes turned green and instead of energy. Yes. Yeah, she's shooting fire, but I thought it looked really well. And I thought it played well. Yeah. I, I, I mean, she's, speaks like all these different languages and she's obviously not as like um i don't know what i'm looking for like she doesn't quite understand because like on t titans go or you know all the other stuff she's kind of like you know still trying to process stuff yeah i'm but, not gonna lie i kind of we just watched teen titans go to the movies uh with my kids like the day before i watched teen Titans or titan so i kind of was yeah. hoping starfire would be like uh, your world, I not, I do not understand. You know, kind of like talking yeah. goofy like she does. But um, yeah, no, I, you know, I think, I think, I think they can they can take it in a really good direction if they do it right. So. Yeah, I definitely think um, it's it was a little strange to see as comic accurate as every other character was to have such a little bit of a difference for her. But like I said, there's a lot of story we don't know yet, and. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think people who were quick to write her off just because it was being played by a an actress of color was was dumb. I think I think yeah. she stood out. I think she did a great job, and I'm very much invested in seeing where her story goes. Right? I, it's yeah. definitely this show has already given me enough uh, rope that I'm willing to like see where this goes before I'm like, no, 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 I'm I'm done. Right? I yeah. definitely want to see where she goes. I liked her story arc. Um, I liked her powers. Apparently she has a more comic book. I, I I do hope she has a more comic book accurate suit coming up. I do hope she doesn't walk around in a in a purple, I don't know, go go dress with go go boots yeah. the whole time and a fur coat. But yeah, hopefully it'll upgrade. But uh, but no, as far as the actress goes, I thought she did a great job. I'm interested in her storyline, and uh, I think all the early hate was very much unwarranted. I think she's going to be 
the new addition to the show. If people are gonna hate just to hate it. I mean, it's listen, just, okay, if me. she wasn't an orange skin character who looked exactly and talked just like Starfire, they were gonna be mad. So whatever. Yeah. Well, I think if, if there anything is to be mad about, it might be Beast Boy. I mean, you were mad about Beast Boy. You didn't like Beast Boy? If, no, I just felt disappointing because they just kind of like shoehorn him in well, for like the okay. last two he, seconds. All right, so he, Beast Boy was the least developed character in this in this series. I think because they focus so much on Robin and Starfire and Raven. I mean, we got a lot. Of, if you think about it, though, we got a lot of story in fifty minutes. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can't complain. We, so you know, instead of complaining art, about the lack yeah. of Beast Boy, let's talk about what they did right. First of all, Beast Boy looks like Beast Boy, and he turns into green yeah. animals. And you know what they did that I thought was great? I've always wondered, how can a person turn into an animal and then turn back and he has all his clothes on? Oh, no, not this Beast Boy. When he turns into an animal, he's naked when he turns back to a human. Which, <laughs> yeah, well, he should but, be. <laughs> but he still thinks it's rad. Yeah, it's kind of cool, too, that he's not green, then he only turns green when he turns into an animal. Apparently, he's going to start turning green. Uh, but I thought he looked great. I liked Beast Boy. I mean, we didn't get a yeah. lot from him, but he he looked the part. Who was it that he was breaking into? I couldn't. It was like an electronic like store. Buy, yeah, it was like a Best Buy. He broke in to steal oh, okay. some games. There is definitely some disconnect. It seems like he may not completely know who he is when he's in Tiger form, or when mm-hmm. he's in Beast form, because when he he was kind of shocked that he got the video game. Yeah. Because the tiger was. Like, I, I, I'm wondering if they're going to set it up that when he turns into a beast, he kind of takes the mentality of a beast. Mm-hmm. So, and I don't know. We'll see. Like, he kind of knows what he's doing, but... But not really, yeah. Because, like I said, he when he was a tiger, he's kind of pawing at the games. And then when he came back with the game, he almost seemed shocked that he got it. So, mm-hmm. you know, I'm kind of wondering if this is, like, a new power and he's trying to figure it out. I don't know. Yeah. We have a lot to develop. I, I feel like the next episode maybe give us a lot more Beast Boy. I know we're going to get Hawk and Dove in the next episode, but... Uh, but overall, man, I, I thought this show was amazing. I loved the entire cast. I loved all the characters. Um, it's definitely the best DC show. It's probably the best Marvel sh- or uh, comic book show, honestly. I mean, so far. I, I'll I'll give it at least like the first four episodes before I give it that designation. But it it's is, on its way. It's on its tra- that trajectory. Oh yeah, it's right it's. Now. I put it up there already with the Daredevils and the best Ooh, episodes I, of Agents of Shield. It's a good show. It is really yeah. good. It's it's very enjoyable. It's definitely worth the the. I think you can actually get a free trial right now. Yeah. Um. So if you just want to do a free trial and watch it, and then see what you think. But yeah. But I would. I I am excited. I'm I am honestly excited for tomorrow night when they air episode two. I cannot wait. Like I said, we're getting Hawk and Dove. We'll get some more superheroes and. It's going to be great, man. I'm really excited for it. And I'll tell you right now, if this is the level of quality that we're going to get out of the DC Universe app, uh, despite the fact that they fucked us on all the comic books, I think yeah. this is going to be worth a subscription Which service worth paying for. a whole for. other thing. Yeah. We could talk another episode about that. But uh, but anyway, as far as Titans go, I think me and Ryan in agreement. Uh, Geek Dad Report recommends you watch it. Get the subscribe and watch Titans. Yeah. Great it show. Fan. Freaking tastic. And, and all we gotta shoot. say is before we get out of here, fuck Batman. Fuck Batman. And stay nerdy. And stay nerdy. And thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time. We'll see Bye. You later. <laughs> we we ruined the end. And fuck Batman. <laughs> fuck Batman.